two races in to the new Marbula One season, and each teammate of each team has run once. We are now able to compare who is where, but that story continues somewhere here on Misty Mountain. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. We say somewhere because it's a little foggy up here. We don't really know entirely where we are. We were led up the mountain by what seemed to be a team of monks, but we are here and ready to race. Orangen is the leader in the World Racers Championship, ahead of Smoggy, Red Eye, Clutter, and this track is a daunting one. Last season, three DNFs and a red flag. Clutter, Bumble, and Clementon all did not finish. Eight turns and 17 laps for the race on Sunday. But first, we have to qualify. And you see the drop right there coming out of sector one leading into two. There will be a speed boost, a split, helices, and more on this tumultuous and sometimes low visibility, misty eponymous circuit. Mocha leads us off right now for the Chocolatiers. Mocha, 10th back at Tumult Turnpike in qualifying, ended up 19th in the race. This is going to be a tricky section once the Grand Prix occurs with just a couple of turns to go after it. Marbles will be thinking about that finish line, but they have to get through that sector first. Pinkies and the Chocolatiers are our first two runners here, also the only team not to score any points. Pinky Toe and Mocha have the eyes of their team and the fans on them this weekend. Oh, and it's a great third sector, but Pinky Toe cannot get in front of Mocha. It is Shimmer up now for the Shining Swarm. Finished 14th back at Tumult Turnpike. Comes across here in P1 for now. Next, we see Swax coming from the Bumblebees. Both of their finishes, Swax and teammate Bumble, have been pretty lackluster so far. The qualifying, so-so. Look at that speed coming through. That speed boost misses the split altogether. Alpine is purple in the second sector. Slow out of that turn, comes across the line. In fifth, lost it all in the third, in fact. Yellow. Purple in Sector 2, a tenth of a second ahead. Yellow qualified 20th, dead last at Tumult Turnpike, doing better than that here, comes in 5th. Cerulean, green through the first two sectors right now after an equally disappointing qualifying performance. 18th in Round 1, but provisional P1 for now here in Round 3. Rapidly purple through the second sector there. Ooh, navigating those helices very well. Coming across right now, fourth. Next up, Mallard. Green through that second sector, loads of speed coming into the third. Seesawed through there very nicely. What will the time be across the line? Eighth. That third sector is really tricky to these marbles. As we see Starry. Time bled off just a little bit in Sector 2, but is it going to be enough? Going purple in the first, purple in the third. And there you go. Starry, who qualified third back at Tumult Turnpike, goes P1 with a 20.297 at the midway point of Q1. This is your first time watching qualifying in Marbula 1. Everybody will qualify, but only the top 10 will move out of Q1. Everybody below there, their positions will be set. Those who moved on to Q2, those top 10, will then have a shootout for pole position. Dash gets us started in this second half. Qualified ninth in the first Grand Prix of the season. A tenth of a second to catch up. Comes across, ninth. Now, because there have been 11 runners, you see on the scoring pylon who is eliminated so far. That is Alpine. Momo trying to avoid it. Tenth ahead. Comes in second. That's pretty good. Guaranteed to go on to Q2. That's what the green means up there. Bolt, in the meantime, is going to have some work to do. Earned a top 10 back at Tumult Turnpike in the race, but will be starting outside of the top 10 here. Arup coming through now, final turn. Trying to keep that speed up. Good enough for fourth. That is a guaranteed qualifier. Minty Flav now gained zero positions overall. Qualified eighth, finished eighth back at Tumult Turnpike. 
Screaming through the second sector, lost it. And it's outside of that green safety zone so far. Wusby, go as smoothly as possible. Needs to pick up the pace though, 14th. Minty Flav is in the green now. Hazy with a big head of speed, almost blending in with the mist. Over the line in fourth. Just a few marbles left to go. Clutter going purple in the second sector. Finished second back at Tumult Turnpike, comes across in first. 20.093, those times are tumbling. And what can Crazy Cat's Eyes do here? Just three hundredths of a second off through the second split. Over the line and no, eliminated. My goodness, the two qualifying runs for the Crazy Cat's Eyes, 12th and 4th. And now this time, dropping as Origin comes through and is eliminated in Q1. And the swirling mist is going to be a mixture of steam from several marbles who are mad not to move on. There you see those who go no further. And the top 10 will get back to the starting blocks if they can find them. Ah, yes, they have. We are ready for the shootout for pole position. Lights are on. And who will get pulled in this three-lap shootout here at Misty Mountain? Clutter leading the field, but is closely followed by Starry. They weave back and forth, trying to trick each other as they come down that backstretch for the first time. So much speed, they have to get it under control through the double right-hander before they head into those split helices. Around the turn they come. Up the belt for the first time. Clutter, Starry, Shimmer, Cerulean, Hazy, Minty, Flav, Arup, Momo, Mocha, and Rapidly. Here they come. This is a big lead now for Clutter. One full lap done, now one and a half. One and a half to go for pole position. Shimmer gets by up into third spot. Can anybody close that gap up there to Clutter? This is a good battle for second place. Oh, we've got a yellow flag. Mocha has gotten stuck coming out of turn seven as we enter the final lap. What's going to happen here? Surely they just have to let it run because the safety marble is back up at the start finish line. Clutter streaking off into the distance. And somebody might dislodge Mocha. Not that it will matter too much. Finishing a lap behind. Coming around the final turn. Clutter will have pole position in front of Starry and Hazy. Momo comes next. Shimmer, Minty Flav, Cerulean Rapidly, Arup, and this stranded Mocha. This is a replay of what happened. To Mocha. Oh, just getting caught up on that apex. Slow as molasses. Here was the start. It looked like several might have been able to get a jump on Clutter, but not so fast. For two consecutive seasons now, Clutter is our pole sitter at Misty Mountain as Balls of Chaos made the right choice to put Clutter in the field for this one. Nobody, in fact, has doubled up from last week's Sleet Street race. They've all been alternating, as is tradition in Marbula One, but traditions are thrown out when it comes to the race. Who will triumph? We'll see on Sunday.